Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to upload any skeletal mesh and add to it uh, your own custom collision shapes. Let's do this. For this you will need your model just as you want to upload it, with an armature and a collision mesh group. To upload your skeletal mesh to Unreal Physics model, we need to open the mesh. With this technique you will be able to upload whatever skeletal mesh you want and use it as a pound root component. Here you are seeing the lunar landing training vehicle, which I did it myself based on images on the internet just float around things to take into account on Blender. Ensure that the unit scale is set to 0 0.01 on the metric system. As we are going to use a collision model determined by ourselves, we need to set our mesh center of gravity into Blender's space center. This is the pivot around which our model will rotate. Once we have the complete model, we need to the collision shapes. If we want concave shapes, we need to create several convex shapes to surround the dents in the model. If we don't do this, Unreal will fill the concave spaces automatically at import, that's why we need several collision shapes. As we can see, these models have to be given a, a specific name. The main name has to be named exactly as the main mesh. If our mesh is named LLTB, the, model, the collision model has to be named LLTB as well, with the suffix UCX underscore We can do an indefinite quantity of these meshes They just have to keep this naming space We have the zero zero one two Three, four, five. Three, four, and five. These models once we have all these models. Now we are going to, first we are going to create a static mesh. We will select everything, everything but the skeleton. Remember that the forward direction in real is on the x, x axis and the lateral is the y axis. So we have to rotate it to face this direction before we export it. Now we must export it from Blender to Unreal. To export, we select we must select FBX binary. And for now, we will select only the mesh. Select 
only selected objects and upload now in Unreal we will we will upload it first as a static mesh this is the importing options of the static mesh select import all this warning says we don't care here's the model of the static mesh it is facing the right direction and if we push this button we can see it is using our custom collision meshes there all right now let's save this static mesh and change its name now that we have imported the static mesh now we must import the skeletal mesh return to blender and we will not need this configuration for collisions so unselect it and select only the armature and this and the mesh both are already oriented towards x and we are going to export it to the same fbx file select also the armature button and export now on unreal let's import the same file now it's going to be imported as a skeletal mesh disregard these warnings let's take a look at the skeletal mesh as you can see this is the same exact mesh but now it has loaded the, the armature now the interesting thing here is in the fat asset the default collision is a capsule but we don't want the capsule delete the capsule and go to the center of the model there you will see this other capsule that is named root well depending on your configuration the root is the you need always you always need a root delete the root and now select the other one the other one is the bones that must have the the main uh, weight right click on this bone press the button copy collision from static mesh select the static mesh we've just uploaded now we have uploaded the same collision mesh from the static mesh to the collected mesh and we can use it as we want as a fat asset now we can use this model for our pounds for the physics physical simulation uh, select LLTB We select a skeletal mesh as the root component in C++ We can't use this skeletal mesh and transform it in any way Not position, not scaling, not rotation That's why we must upload it right from Blender in the right position and orientation Save and Let's fly this thing. Now we are using a skeletal mesh, but with a static mesh collision component.
Thanks for watching. I hope this will be helpful for your projects. See you later.